this week's Bleep Bloop, we will be playing erotic arcade games. No further explanation needed. I'm your host, Jeff Rubin, and I'm here with Kyle Jimmer's Pat Castles, Sarah Schneider, and Michael Ian Black. So the yellow power-ups are, are above water, and the blue ones are underneath. What they're revealing is what has already been revealed. That's true, but if we beat this level, we'll see a little more. It's the same woman, same position, but less clothes? Is that what I'm yeah. about to understand? Oh, so it's a, it's a little like strip poker. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. Except you can do it all by yourself. <laughs> good work. You got so many points, too. You that are. matters. Uh, the idea of having points in a game like this... <laughs> Seems like gilding the lily a little yeah. bit. You can hack it so she doesn't get naked if you're, if you're purely interested in the skill. Involved. Right, she just she just puts on more and more pieces of a burqa. <laughs> Is there something about arcades that lent themselves to being erotic? Like, Look, there aren't erotic games coming out. Here it is. Sarah, quiet. Whoa! Love her. <laughs> I'm actually lips. falling a little bit in love with her. I'm sorry, Sarah, what was your question? Um, it's really not for it. The question was why are there no erotic video game arcade games today? Right? Well, first of all, there's no real arcades left at well, yeah, all. Period. There's no like, there's not even any non-erotic arcades but there left. They're all closed. There weren't any erotic arcade games at the time that arcades were popular. These weren't. You can just go to the space yeah, board and play this. I, I went to arcades and there was never anything. I mean, trust me, I would know if they had. These things. <laughs> I mean, I said a good if a game called that. Pole Position doesn't have any nudity in it, <laughs> you're not going to find nudity anywhere. <laughs> it's like they have it at bars and truck stops. Like you wouldn't find erotic photo hunt. In of an arcade, you find it at a bar, bar yeah. or a truck stop. Wow, what's next, guys? I mean, what, what's left? Literally, she nothing. takes out her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, now she's talking to me. Are you jealous? You have to understand, she's working right now. <laughs> I know when she comes home. You know, wait, wait till I beat this level, then see. It's just more money in my pocket. You know what I mean? This game is amazing. God, what would woman. you do if I told you there's a sequel to Lady Killer sure. <laughs> called Party Time Go Know the Diver Part 2? I'm hoping the technology has improved by the time it is, the it, sequel it, came out. Everyone put on your virtual reality helmets. <laughs> Isn't it insane there's a sequel? Isn't that crazy? They well, made, they were the first like, was so successful. Yeah. <laughs> so that, so, it's, it's crazy there's a first one. Sorry guys, I should have started. Yeah, go for the goods. Uh, she's wearing a she, helmet. She's wearing a helmet. Well, she should wear a helmet. That I like to see. The, la the, la the last level, she takes off the helmet. Good level. Really good level. Well played. Well played. Thank you. Really reward you. Like fireworks, frog <laughs> jumps, she gets naked. It's like everything you want in a successful video game. Come on, that party. I do find this sexier than just regular porn. Because <laughs> it makes you work for it. You know, she doesn't give it up. Uh, so guys, what have, what have we learned today? What do we think of these erotic arcade games? What do we learn? I would say for me, I've learned that the two elements, video game and terrible, terrible erotica, mm -hmm. are better than the sum of their parts. Sarah, a, a, a female perspective on this? Do this, did any of this stuff turn you guys on, seriously? No. No, definitely no. No, no whatever. Absolutely not.